Welcome back to News in Details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi held a meeting on Monday to follow up efforts of the National Service Projects Organization for industry localization. President Sisi directed to enhance the localization of components of all types of industries and provide them with the latest technologies. The head of state made his directives during his meeting with Director General of the National Service Projects Organization, Major General Walid Abul Magd, and President and CEO of Suidi Electric, Ahmed Suidi. The President instructed to boost training of human cadres on manufacturing and maintenance process at the aim of providing more job opportunities and to present local products at lower prices than the imported ones in the domestic markets. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli headed a cabinet meeting on finalizing the reconciliation process for construction violations. Madbouli reiterated that the government has discussed measures of reconciliation during a number of meetings and is working on amending a draft law regarding this issue. The Premier also asserted keenness on inviting members of the parliament to attend discussions over the file of building reconciliations to reach a settlement on the terms of the new law. He also stressed on the significance of this file as an important step for preserving the state's assets. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli held another meeting on Monday to follow up the progress report of El Ware Island Development Plan. Madbouli affirmed the importance of implementing the upgrading scheme for the island, which aims at promoting this promising area and benefiting from its unique location as well as improving the living conditions of its residents and implementing new development projects. During the meeting, the Minister of Housing reviewed the plan for upgrading this area, which includes establishing 94 residential towers that contain more than 4,092 housing units and other facilities, such as a number of schools, medical units, youth centres and commercial malls developments of paying the compensation for the island residents. The meeting also tackled the latest Suarre residents and determining the amounts of the compensation for each Fedan of its lands. Minister of Interior Mahmoud Taufi received on Monday his Palestinian counterpart Ziad Habrih in Cairo and the accompanied high-level delegation. The meeting focused on a number of security files of common concern and means of boosting joint cooperation during the coming period. Taufi asserted full support to the Palestinian security bodies to face the current challenges, with an Egypt's supportive stance for Palestine's peace and stability. For his part, the Palestinian minister expressed appreciation for Egypt's leading role at the regional and international arenas and continuous efforts to support Palestine in all domains. In light of the Interior Ministry's efforts to combat crimes and arrest outlaws, the Ministry released a report detailing its successful campaigns during the past 30 days. The Police General Administration of Supply and Trade managed to detect 44,432 supply cases, including hiding strategic commodities, overpricing and monopoly. On another front, the report highlighted successful efforts to arrest a number of tax evaders and due taxes were paid in accordance with the law. A ceasefire deal brokered by Egypt to end nearly three days of Israeli strikes in Gaza held into Monday morning. An official source said, out of deep interest in restoring calm in the Palestinian Strip, Cairo has intensified contacts with all parties to contain the latest round of violence. He added that Egypt had called for a comprehensive and mutual ceasefire. The source asserted that Egypt is exerting efforts to secure the release of a Palestinian prisoner who is on a food strike and another senior Palestinian leader from Israeli jails. Egypt stressed on the importance of establishing calm inside Gaza Strip so as to help complete ongoing reconstruction efforts in the Israeli blockaded Gaza. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas welcomed the truce in a statement from his office in the West Bank premises of Ramallah, thanking the tireless efforts made by Egypt. Since Friday, Israeli aircraft had pummeled targets in Gaza, killing 44 Palestinians, including 15 children, and four women, and 311 were wounded.
Welcome back. The Egyptian stock market indices collectively ended fluctuating on Monday due to Arab and foreign cooperation selling operations. The market's main index, EGX30, retreated by three quarters of a percent. Both the equal weight index, EGX70, added 1.08 percent, while the broader index, EGX100, was up by 0.49 percent.